Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to Fluttering Dollies. In today's video, I'm going to be doing an everything eye crow shade in 2022. This is also going to include things from before 2022, but it's going to have things I made for myself and things I made for my dolls. So, yeah, let's go. So the first thing I crocheted was a gray bucket hat for my little sister, but like cannot find that. I made a green human bucket hat for my little sister as well and my older sister took it so we don't know where it is and here's a bucket hat that i made for my dolls next thing i'm gonna show you are these fingerless gloves super cute i love them so much but they're super nice and warm and cozy and what goes with them is these ear warmers oh my gosh these ear warmers are so cute um i'm gonna wear them to school the air warmers to school because they're just so cute and and for any of you wondering yes i am aware that i did sew the stars on lopsided i still wear them anyway because they're super cute and actually with the same yarn i made these fingerless gloves for the dolls and the top that Jasmine's also wearing. If I were to make the top again, I would definitely make it a bit different because I feel like it's a bit ill-fitting on them. But other than that, it's super cute. So I did a video about the making of this scarf. And honestly, I haven't really worn this scarf that much because the yarn used to make it is just so itchy. And I also made a matching one for my dolls as well. Next is this sleeveless sweater vest, I guess you could call it. And um, I was going to add buttons to it, but I haven't had the opportunity to do that yet. And I actually made it for my little sister. Let me know if you guys want to see me actually showing you how to make some of these crochet items for your dolls one of my absolute favorites this cardigan i love this cardigan so much and here's a random loose end in it anyways i was gonna add buttons to it but i haven't had the chance to um and in the back actually it's a split back and i was actually making a video tutorial on it but then my phone was like yeah i'm not gonna do it no matter how many things I deleted on it, it would not let me and the video is going to be 10 minutes and I was super upset about it. And this bandana I actually made way before and how this cardigan came about was I actually thought of the idea for the cardigan. I'm like, that'd be a great video idea. And also I had a lot less left of this yarn such a cute bandana if you guys want to see a tutorial on any of these things make sure to let me know in the comment section it's super cute it's like such a comfy fall cardigan and i love it so much staying on the theme of fall here's this like shrug that i made that i never really got around to finishing when i finished the other sleeve i realized i didn't have enough yarn then i had to undo it so i can make decreases on the arms and i just haven't gotten around to doing it then we have this fall cardigan if you look at it super closely you can tell that it's two different color oranges and that's because i ran out of yarn and i had to run to a store and get new yarn but honestly it's so cute and I love it so much. I've gotten compliments on it. And that is it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. Let me know what your favorite thing that I made in this video was. And if you want to see something that I made in for myself in doll size, make sure to let me know. And I will definitely be sure to do that and take all your suggestions into consideration. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a nice day. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Bye!